Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss 2.2 inequalities. For the type C, solving quadratic inequalities. Refers to statement 19, a quadratic inequality is an inequality of the form ax square plus bx plus c greater than 0, where a, b and c are the real number with a cannot be equal to 0. The inequality symbols such as less than, less than and equals, and greater than equal may also be used. Refers to statement 20. These types of inequalities for quadratic inequalities can be solved by the following method. Number 1 will be a graphical method. Number 2, real number line. Number 3, table of sign. The use of graphical method, which is suitable for quadratic equation. The graph of the quadratic expression is sketch. And the point where the graph cut the x-axis, say P and Q are not. Now refers to statement 23. Given y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. For the situation, when the a is greater than 0, the graph will be minimum. Next, we have to plot the value for p and q for the x-axis. Then, we have to refer the value or the inequalities whether it is greater than 0 or greater and equals to 0. If it is greater than 0, meaning that the value will be above the x-axis. If the value given for y is less than 0 or less than equals to 0, then the location will be below the x-axis. By referring to statement 24, given that a is less than 0 and the graph is maximum, so again, we have to plot the point for p and q and the x-axis and then by referring to the inequalities, when it is given that greater than 0 or greater equals to 0, then the location will be above the x-axis. If the situation is less than or less than equals to 0, then our answer will be below the x-axis. Here are the examples 16. Find the value of x for the following inequalities by using graphical method. Here we have a quadratic inequalities. So now what we have to do is to factorize. So x plus 5 x plus 1 greater than 0 next we are going to identify the point so which is x equals to negative 5 and x equals to negative 1 so since the a is greater than 0 so this is the minimum graph so here we have the graph and we have the location of the point which is negative 5 and negative 1 so, based on the inequalities, here they mention that greater than 0. So, meaning that it's above the x-axis. So, our answer would be negative infinity until negative 5, where negative 5 is not included, or negative 1 until infinity, where negative 1 is not included. Here we have second example. So first what I'm going to do is to transfer or rearrange so that the coefficient for x square is a positive. So 3x square plus 7x minus 6 greater than 0. Next I'm going to factorize the situation where we will have 3x minus 2 bracket x plus 3 greater than 0. Next is to identify the point where x equals to 2 over 3 and x equals to negative 3. So by referring to this case, it is a positive value. Okay, so it is a minimum graph. So again, we have 
negative 3 on the left and 2 over 3 on the right. So next what we have to do is to double check. Greater than 0, meaning that it's above the x-axis. So our answer would be negative infinity until negative 3, where negative 3 is not included, union, 2 over 3 until infinity, where 2 over 3 is not included. So where this is a interval form. If it's a set notation form, x, we have x less than negative 3, where negative 3 is not included, or x is greater than 2 over 3, where 2 over 3 is not included. So now we are going to discuss the following example. So first step, I'm going to expand for both sides. So 3x squared minus 15x less than equals to 4x minus 6. After that, I'm going to rearrange. So 3x squared minus 15x minus 4x plus 6 less than equals to 0. And we will have 3x squared minus 19x plus 6 less than equals to 0. Next step, I'm going to factorize the situation. So we will have 3x minus 1, x minus 6 less than equals to 0. So the point would be x equals to 1 over 3 and x equals to 6. Next, I'm going to sketch the graph. Since the value of a is 3, which is a positive, so it will be a minimum graph. So here we are. So 1 over 3 is on the left and 6 is on the right. By referring to the inequalities, it is less than equals to 0, meaning that the value would be below the x-axis. So finally, our answer would be 1 over 3 until 6, where 1 over 3 and 6 is included. So here we are and thanks for watching.